So I made a game. It's a very accurate representation of my Twitch journey so far. In the beginning of March, I celebrated my one year on Twitch with a 15 hour stream where I made an actual game. Okay, one small level, I guess, but with my own assets and every line of code written by me. Followed a tutorial, but every line of code typed by me. Let me show you. Here's what I had in the beginning of the stream. I was following Brecky's series for beginners for a couple of streams before. I learned how to apply force to an object to make it go Nyom! You could move left and right to dodge obstacles. If you hit an obstacle or you fell, you respond. And also there was a score. So I thought, what could I do in one stream? Considering I never made a game before and it had to be done in under 10 hours. This was gonna be triple A quality for sure, right? <laughs> I wanted to add some more mechanics and add my own assets. I've been learning Blender for about seven months now and Unity for about a month, yet I never imported my own assets into Unity before. That had to be done. First, while my mind was still fresh, I decided to start with programming, since this is the most challenging part for me. So, I'm not an expert, but I feel like a game should have a win condition. Let's add one. It's an anniversary, so let's make it a cake. This looks like a cake. So when you reach a cake, you're shown a masterpiece of a windscreen. You'll see. So I thought, how do I do this? I did something like this in the tutorial already. You add a collider to an object, and when the player hits that object, you're teleported to a 2D scene with an image that says something like, good job. The original score was supposed to track how far you've gotten. Now that we have a clear end to the level, the cake, it kinda doesn't make any sense anymore. But that got me thinking, what if you reach the cake at the day 365, its anniversary. That should be easy to do. We are already getting the player's score from its Z position. So move the cake to Z365. Now we get a very repetitive game. You dodge the same obstacles, reach the end, get the same end scene. No replayability at all. How about we add some pickups? What could you pick up as a Julie on her way? to an anniversary cake. Viewers, how do you do that? Create a new object with a collider on it. When the player hits the collider, you add one to viewer count and destroy the object. Should be easy. Some trial and error. Learning what is trigger means. And we're there. Oh yeah, I also tweaked you lost screen. Now, let's add a completely reasonable amount of bloom and we're ready for the art part. Let's make a quick Julie. Close enough. Now a viewer. How do you know it's a viewer? Big eyes. I know you're wondering, what eye color does an average viewer have? I made a poll in chat, and brown and blue get the same amount of votes, so apparently both. I love democracy. Now let's export to FBX, open in Unity, move, scale, parent to a prefab, and we're rolling! Now we need a cake. How about reusing model? You made for your birthday because it's been 12 hours of the stream already and you're feeling kind of lazy. <laughs> this works. If you've been on streams, you know that the thing I was dodging had to be productivity. How does one represent productivity? Just write it on a box. Last thing we had to do was to make a windscreen a bit more faster. Now that's faster. And we're done. Look, a game. Triple A quality as promised. <laughs> You can play it yourself, by the way. It's on my HIO. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. How do you do that? How do you do that? How better that?